Hello, Aquarius viewers. Sorry, I know I've been gone for quite a while, long time, but I am back now. I'm still doing private readings as well. So if you'd like a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And that email is right below in the description box. So let's get into it. Whatever your spirit guides want to tell you. And if this resonates, you know, if this is your energy group, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm again. Okay, someone's missing you. I'm getting that right off the bat. Uh, open heart, communication, message, shyness, fear of rejection, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. I feel like somebody is just really feeling isolated. This could be you, but I'm getting more. I feel like you're actually in a really high vibrational energy right now. I feel like, or you're you're maybe on the brink of that. You're 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 coming into that energy. Because I just feel like this is the energy group that I'm reading for. I just feel like you're on a higher timeline right now. I've noticed that recently there was a, a major timeline split. Some people are still on the karmic timeline and some people are on the high, the higher timeline. And it's not saying, you know, that the people on the higher timeline are above anybody else. But there's basically, basically collectively people had two options, two paths that they could go down. And I feel like you chose to end karmic cycles no matter how painful it was. I feel like you chose to, whether it was toxic jobs, toxic family, you know, relationships, friendships, whatever it might have been. I just feel like you really took your power back or you're in the process of taking your power back. You're basically making the world your oyster right now. I feel like you're coming into a time when you're going to be a really powerful manifester. You already are, but I feel like that power is going to increase. You're, you're going to be able to have whatever you want, whether it's traveling, money, love. I just feel like you're, you're really... I feel like something is really boosting your confidence right now and I almost feel it feels like it's genuine confidence too it doesn't seem like it's something that's fleeting it's not like you know it, it's it's not random it, it feels like you're developing a genuine strong sense of self a genuine strong sense of confidence like you really know who you are after everything that you've gone through and so I feel like you're in a much different energy than you were in you know a few months ago or last year I feel like the tables have really turned for you where you're, I think you're looking at the world differently. I think you're also mastering the laws of attraction because I'm just getting for this energy group. It's like you guys really know how to manifest things in your life. You really know how to get what you want or you're at least in, on that path. Like you might be reading certain books on manifestation, on like the laws of attraction, maybe psychology, um, you know, different things. You're you're based you're you're basically in this period of just of studying, of learning, of growing, of you know, seeing the bigger picture, realizing that you can have whatever you want out of life, whether that's traveling or, you know, buying a home or love. It's like you, you know, you realize that you have the power within you to manifest these things. You know, there's a lot of strength coming from you right now. But anyway, I'm getting the energy though. Of someone I feel like who's taken too long, I feel like they also kind of see you in this energy. They see you in your power and they didn't really expect you to be in your power. Let's get more into let's get more into this because they're feeling very alone right now. This person might be going through some mental illness, depression. Just feel like this person's like afraid, like they want to open their heart. They want to send you a message. They want to just pour it all out, but they feel like you might reject them. So they're basically resorting to spying on you. They're basically just, they're, they're seeing you move on from them. They're, they're seeing you live your best life. So they might be on your social media or maybe they're having people spy on you, but they just see that you're, I feel like a lot of you are, um, I don't even know that they see you with someone else. I'm not, I'm not really getting that energy necessarily. I mean, for some they could, but I'm getting more just that they see that you're you're going out and you're being social more like maybe you're posting a you know posting pictures of yourself going out or you're talking about places that you want to go or things that you want to do over the summer they they basically they're kind of thinking about like well like that could have been me like I could have been living that life with this person like 
you know, is it too late? Can I catch up to them? Can I, can I be a part of that? You know, if you're planning on traveling somewhere, they're like, could I, could we go to that place together? Could I, you know, could I be a part of this life that you're manifesting? But it's, it's almost like they didn't want you when you were in that sad energy and now the tables have turned and you're the one that's happy. You're the one that's doing well. You're the one that's being strong. And I'm sure you miss them, but it's like, you're focusing on yourself. Um, I feel like a lot of you, I feel like a lot of you like miss them. I feel like you do still have love for this person, but I feel like you just kind of don't believe in them anymore. You feel like they only want you because they feel like they can't have you, you know, or you feel like they only want you now that you're doing well, now that you're successful, but you feel like they didn't really want you when you were the one that was depressed or you, the, you were the one that was going through a hard time. They weren't really there for you through that. And, and so I feel like you don't really trust this person's motives. You don't really trust that they have good intentions. You don't really, I don't think you really believe that this person truly loves you. So right now where we're at, it's like this person's pretty much just spying and they're just, they're full of regrets, hesitation, mixed feelings, sex, seduction, fear of commitment. For some, this person just wanted to be sexual or this person is someone that just kind of likes to have friends with benefits. They don't really like to actually commit to anybody. I feel like they also have mixed feelings because they're used to being this person. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for this person. You need to, I, I think that you're on a really good path right now. I think your vibration is really high. I think if you're not already manifesting abundance in your life, it's it's right around the corner. Like you're in that energy where you really are mastering the laws of, you know, attraction, the laws of the universe. You're about to have whatever you want, you know, money, love, traveling, new friends, uh, new career opportunities. You're 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 learning the tricks. It's almost like something it's like you reach that higher vibration and something just clicked where you're like, "Oh, I noticed like when I'm in this energy, things just kind of flow to me. I just kind of manifest easily." It's like you're you're kind of learning. It's like you're working with those universal energies and that's going to get you. That's the key to everything. That's going to get you what you want. That's going to get you where you want to be in life. So honestly, just stay focused on that. If some of you are studying right now, because I get some of you are actually reading books on this. Some of you are reading books that are kind of opening your mind up. So keep reading those books. Keep um, whatever you're doing right now that's keeping you in this energy that's motivating you. It might be exercising or dancing it might be um music it might be I feel like you know studying for a lot of you some of you could be in school it's like whatever you're doing is like really opening your mind up it could also be like listening to binaural beats or like subliminal messages but whatever you're doing you know keep doing it because it is having an effect on your mind because I feel like some of you are like maybe like repeating the affirmations or you're listening to binaural beats and then part of you is like, oh, is it even working for me? Like, but like, no, it, it is. I feel like there is a transition that you're going through. And I feel like you can kind of feel that where your energy feels more open. Like you kind of know intuitively that you are on the verge of just manifesting everything that you want out of life. So whatever it is that's opening your mind up and and uh, changing your perspective on things and showing you this higher perspective and, and getting you just in tune with that universal flow. Just keep at, keep at it. Keep studying that. Keep reading that book or doing you know the exercises or whatever it might be. Just keep on that path. But anyway, yeah, so as far as this person goes, though, it feels like it, it just feels like they're spying right now. They're they're seeing you level up and they're wondering if they can even be part of that life. I feel like this was you before. You were the one that felt isolated and alone and empty. Now the tables have turned and that's how they feel. And now they're having to spy. And it's, it's really sad too because, I mean, this person could just message you. Like this person is choosing to do this. They don't have to be in this energy. But they're... I feel like I feel like you love this person. I feel like you have love for them. But I think you know what you deserve. So I think that you actually... For the majority of you, not for all of you, but for most of you, I feel like you actually are open to this person, but only if they come in with this open, honest communication, only if they come forward and they actually speak the truth about how they feel, only if they're, you know, willing to meet you where you're at. You're not willing to make excuses for them again or go back down to that level and wait for them, um, 
you know, you're, you're, you're going forward and they can either catch up to you or you're going to meet somebody else that's going to already be in alignment with the energy that you're in. But, you know, it's really, it's really a beautiful thing that you're going forward either way. And, and it's, it's just, it's sad for this person. It really is though, because it's like, they don't really realize it's like somebody who just kind of self-sabotages. It's like, I think that they have it in their head that you would definitely reject them. And I honestly feel like most of you really are open to this person. If they come forward with, with truth, with clarity, if they really make an effort to be in your life, to be a part of this life that you're creating, um, if they, if they make, if they're willing to compromise with you, if they're willing to be open and be vulnerable, I really feel like you are open to this person. You would open your heart again to this person, but this person is so insecure and so in their head that it's like they keep sabotaging and they keep wanting to send this message here and they keep just telling them, it's like they keep talking themselves out of it. They keep telling themselves like, you know, I did this or I did that. I feel guilty for this. I bet they wouldn't forgive me. Or, you know, it's been a long time since we've talked. So I don't, I don't want to interrupt their life or I don't know if they would, if they really have room or time for me anymore. Like they're just, they're still in their ego. They're, they're still just holding on to that fear. I do feel like you're a lot stronger and a lot braver than this person is, to be honest. And I feel like part of it, too, is I really don't think that they'd ever been with anybody like you before. Because we have sex and seduction and we have fear of commitment. And I really just get the sense that, like, they've never met somebody as strong, as open, as... I feel like you're very, you just have a very powerful energy. Like you're a very powerful manifester. You're very strong. You're very, I'm, I'm channeling, you know, this energy group, I'm channeling people where it's like you, you, I feel like you study, you know, the occult or psychic work or energy work. Like you do some type of energy work, some type of healing work. And I feel like that also comes from past lives. Like you guys were probably healers in past lives as well. And you might be carrying, you know, you might be doing that again this lifetime. Because you just have a very strong presence. I'm getting that for this energy group. It's like you walk into the room and you just, you're you're not, you're not like the, you might be a wallflower type. I'm not saying for sure that you're not, but I'm like, even if you are a wallflower type, like at parties where you just sit there, it's like you still draw energy to you. You know what I mean? Like if you go to a club or a concert or something and you just kind of sit and try to keep quiet, people are still always looking at you. People are, whether it's, whether it's good or bad, whether people are looking at you because they're jealous of you and they, they want to, you know, keep tabs on you or whether they're admiring your outfit or the way you present yourself, you just have a very strong presence. Like you're very, you know, people can't ignore you. People, you have that kind of presence that people just cannot overlook. They can't ignore you. You're, you make yourself known even when you're not trying to make yourself known. Some of you might even try, you know, the opposite. You try to like kind of hide your, you know, to tone it down a little bit because you don't want all the attention, but it's like people still are just drawn to you naturally. And, um, I'm getting a lot of competition too, where it's, it's like, you might actually have people that, um, and you could be male or female, just take it as it resonates. I have, you know, I have all genders um, watching these readings. So if I say female, but you know you're male, just, you know, don't don't get caught up on gender. But I'm almost getting the vibe for a few of you. I see like, I see like a blonde woman. I, feel, I see like a few different women, but I, I see like a, a woman that's basically going out. And it's like, even when you're like wearing just like sweatpants, you're still getting all this attention. And I feel like you have other women hating on you. And you don't understand it because you actually like want more female friends, you know, like you don't get it. Like you try to be really, even though you have a strong energy, it's, it's like you try to be really open. You try to be friendly you know, you're not doing anything wrong, but it, but it's like, you just go out and some of these people, some of these women just like look you up and down or they just compete with you or they just, you know, maybe spread rumors about you and you just, you don't understand it. And it's like, they're, they're jealous. They're honestly jealous. It's, it's like competition. Like they don't, you know, you just have that energy and you're not even like, I don't think you're even really aware of it. I think you're actually pretty humble. And I don't think you are aware of quite how strong your presence are is. I feel like you have a, also have a light about you and that really irritates people's demons. So like if somebody has like demonic attachments on them or they have, um, just things that they don't want to face about themselves. It's it's almost like the, the demons that are on them just don't like your energy. They feel that light. 
they know that they can't hide from you. It's like you just kind of see through people. You're just you're very, very strong. Um, so, you know, it, it's not you're, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just, you know, there's there's a lot of people that are just jealous and insecure and there's nothing that you can do about it. You have to kind of just align with people that are more confident and they're going to be OK you know, being friends with a strong, independent woman and not having to be in competition with you for no reason. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, I do feel like this person, it's like, yeah, the tables have turned and now they're feeling alone. They're feeling, they're the one feeling isolated. They're wanting to come back into your life. They're wanting to make this offer. They're wanting to send this message. They just feel like this. They just really feel like if they send this message, you're probably going to reject them. I feel like, I feel like you come off the wrong way to people too sometimes. And like, you don't mean, like, you're not, I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong necessarily, but I just feel like maybe you're such an honest person that the way you speak or the way that you carry yourself, people might think that they're being rejected by you when really you're just being assertive, you know, like people, people just aren't used to it. And I feel like this person in particular really wasn't used to your kind of energy. They're used to having one night stands. They're used to, um, there could be like sex addiction. They're used to surface level connection, uh, <laughs> surface level connections. And they do have that fear of commitment. But with you, it was like, they couldn't do that with you. You know what I mean? Like they, they couldn't, any games or anything, any like seductive techniques that they had with other people, they couldn't really do that with you. I feel like you saw through it and you called them out on it. And you held them accountable. You weren't willing to compromise your boundaries or your self-respect. You have a very strong sense of who you are. And, and so this person was just not really able to get away with anything with you. Let's see what else cards want to say. Waiting, hoping, praying, vulnerability, receptivity, reconciliation. I feel like this is this person. It's like they're waiting and hoping and praying that you're like, you'll be vulnerable like you used to be that you'll, you know, they want this reconciliation, but it's almost like they don't want to. It's like at a standstill though, because they don't want to actually make the effort. They're intimidated by you, by your courage, by your assertiveness, you know, seeing you moving forward and wondering yeah, because because you come off as cold and guarded and just trusting and you probably are, you know what I mean? Like, even if you have love for this person, you're probably still at that point where you're like, you either step up and be my equal or you're going to lose me. I'm going to move forward without you. Like, you're not, you know what I mean? Like, you're not doing it anymore. Um, And so, you know, a lot of them are kind of looking at you as like somebody that's like cold and guarded. But I feel like they kind of know why that I think they understand why you're in this energy. Because I honestly feel like when you were vulnerable, when you were like this angel, this light in their life, I feel like they just kind of, you know, took that for granted. I, I don't get a, I'm not feeling a malicious vibe from this person. Like I'm not, you know, if you're in this energy group, I'm not getting that the person in your energy field is like evil or malicious or narcissistic or anything like that I feel like that gets thrown around way too much or everyone's like oh it's like the empath and the narcissist relationship and it's it's like you know I mean people might have narcissistic traits but I mean most people aren't like you know full-on like narcissistic you know and I really actually feel insecurity from this person more than anything I do not feel narcissism at all I feel like this might be somebody who brags and and maybe they might try to come off as really confident and they might overdo it. And that might come off as narcissistic because, you know, people are like, why the hell do you need to brag about your job? Or why do you need to brag about how much money you have or this or that? And, and so I can see why people might think they're narcissistic, but I think it's more just insecurity. They feel like they have nothing else to offer. So they try to, uh, overcompensate with like their, their car, their vehicle or truck. Um, you know, clothing, money, whatever else, like surface level things. But I, I, I don't get an actually malicious vibe. I just feel like this is somebody who's who's not very mentally strong and somebody who's very insecure. Somebody who does have potential to be a lot more than this, but I feel like they're, they haven't really done the healing to be a stronger person, to really match your energy and be a better person. So right now they're just kind of insecure and confused and they're... 
it's part of them does want to run and catch up to you and be on your level, but another part of them just wants to pull you back to pull you back into um you know that that comfort zone, that area that it's like they want to go back to how it used to be. They don't want to actually step up and match your energy and just and it's sad. It's really yeah, it's like two people that really do love each other. It's like you both love each other, but you're both you know there's this stubbornness. It's like both these people, it's like, look at them. Like they want to be in the same room. Like neither of you want to be apart from each other. You know what I mean? Like the love is there. This is like a soulmate or a twin flame. I would say it's like that connection is there, but it's, it's like, you guys just aren't really talking. It's like, you want to be close to each other. You miss each other. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, I don't know if you ever saw that picture from Burning Man. It was circulating on social media, uh, as like a meme for a while but it was basically I think the sculpture is called like the inner child or something like that but it's these two adults that have it's like a, a cage like they're made out of like a cage basically and they have their backs to each other but then right in right like right where their backs are they there's these two little kids these two little you know figure of these two kids and they're like reaching out to each other so it's like that inner child it's like you guys are like reaching out to each other like you love each other you miss each other but it's the pride and stubbornness and ego, you know, the, the adult mindset that basically is getting in the way of that, the inner child that, you know, wants to reconnect. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, anger, miscommunication, domination, control. This is interesting. Hmm. Some of you, there might have been a misunderstanding that took place in some sort of social event, or this could be rumors like friends or someone was spreading rumors about you. There might have been like rumors going around because there's some kind of miscommunication. It's like something, something might have taken place. And that's not for everybody, but I think this is just a quick message for a few of you. There might have been something where someone felt like rejected or they felt like they heard something and now they're angry about it. Like they feel like almost like it's a power struggle between you. There might have been a rumor, but but that's not that's not for most of you. So you'll know if that's that's just confirmation for those of you that that had something like that going on. Publicity, social media, trapped, blocked, tied up. Submissive, weak-willed. Yeah, I feel like whatever you're posting on social media or if you're going out in public it's like you're focused on you and so this person feels like it's like weak-willed you know like tra trapped blocked like weak-willed like they feel you see like this red thread it's like and she's blindfolded it's almost like this person's like trying to connect with you through your social media and we got the spine card too so it's almost like that's like the only time that's like the only way to like get like a like their daily dose of you you know what I mean like it's it's like watching your post or if you like release music or something like that it's it's like they might be listening to your songs or they're they're looking at your artwork if you create art they're looking whatever it is that you produce that you put out in public they're basically looking at that because it's like the only time they can really feel like that closeness to you still but it, it's really sad though because like I said it's like they're trapping themselves they don't have to live in that fantasy world I almost feel like it's like you're this person's unicorn and and so it's like they don't want to put themselves out there and risk losing you so they'd prefer to just you know fantasize about you they prefer just to live in that dream world you know while you're moving on and it's it's really it's just so sad because it's like this person could just step up and be assertive like you don't even that's all you want from them I feel is you just want them to step up and be assertive and just love you properly and just be there like that's all you want you just want them that's it it's like you just want them to match your energy you just want them to finally make an effort and it's like if they did that if they were to communicate and show you how they feel and make the effort it's like they could have this new life with you they don't you know what I mean like they're sad and they're lonely and they're looking at you living this new life and they, they don't realize like you probably want to travel with them you probably wish that they would catch up to you and do these things that you want to do whether it's hobbies or just living your best life like they're not realizing that they could catch up to you and, and live that life with you. They could be part of that, you know? Um, it's like you're really, you're open to them. 
you're open you you know I do feel like this energy group is open to them like you are open to them coming back but they just have to communicate you're just not open to the the same games or the same um you know power struggles or them just half-assing it but if they come back with honesty and integrity and they actually make an effort I think that you'll be completely open to them and give this another chance but it's, it's like they're blocking themselves. They're in their head and they're overthinking it and they, they end up blocking themselves and creating stagnation that, that doesn't need to be there. So what I'm feeling for this energy group right now and please, if this is re resonating with me, if this is if this is resonating with you guys, please subscribe, uh, please like, share, comment because you know I'm trying to get my YouTube video my, my videos back in the algorithm, get YouTube to promote me again. But um, I really feel like, I was going to say like subscribe too because I'm going to be posting more videos, you know, continuing the story on because there's a lot that's up in the air right now. Maybe in a couple, I'll probably do, you know, more videos before a couple of weeks, but, but I'll continue to channel the story, I'm sure, in future readings. But it just feels like a lot is up in the air right now because I feel like there's two different potential paths ahead. I do feel like you have two potential life partners. So basically, I feel like your spirit guide has been working with this person because they know that you do love them and they want to give this a chance. But I feel like your spirit guides have gotten kind of impatient with this person. So it's sort of up in the air right now. Either they want your spirit guides want you to go for it either way, though. They don't want you to go back and, you know, compromise your boundaries or compromise the things that you want out of life for this person. Like if you want to go to school or you want to travel um, or you want to, uh, you know, dance or do or do whatever and this person isn't on board with that, they don't want you to compromise that for this person. They want you to focus on those things, focus on your manifestations, focus on yourself, keep moving forward. And I feel like your spirit guides are working trying to get this person to just be brave and be assertive and take a leap of faith and send that message but if they don't do that soon I feel like your spirit guides are going to be bringing you somebody else in they're going to be bringing in a another potential life partner um so you know two potential paths ahead but the key to either of those paths is just to continue what you're doing continue with the manifestation so anyway I hope this helped you guys and thank you guys for watching me bye